Hello and welcome to Quick Maths with Mr. Jonsen. Today I will continue where I left in my last video. That was question number 16a. And this is going to be your question number 16b. The heights are shown in the frequency table. Here we have the heights in centimeters and the frequency. Complete the histogram to show this information. First of all, to complete this histogram, we need class width and then frequency distribution. Now the class width for the first one is 20 because 0 to 20, okay, height is greater than 0 and less than or equal to 20, which means 20. For the second one, from 20 to 30, it is 10. This is also 10 from 30 to 40. And from 40 to 80, the width of this class will be 40. So by looking at the class width, you can say that the bars in this histogram is going to be unequal. All right. The first one has already been done for you. Look at this 6. From where did they get this 6? Let us find out from the frequency distribution. To find the frequency distribution, all you need to do is go to this frequency and divide by class width. So frequency distribution is frequency divided by class width. Okay, so here we have frequency as 120 divided by 20, that will give you 6. Now if you look at the height of this bar, which is 6, so that's the reason, alright. So let's go and calculate the rest. 80 divided by 10, 80 divided by 10, which is 8. 124 divided by 10, which is 12.4. And then this one is 76 divided by 40. Since this is a non-calculator paper, you need to simplify this yourself. Divide by 2 will give you 38 over 20 divided by 2 will give you 19 over 10 and that's going to be 1.9 so now let us start drawing the bar from the second one the width is 10 and the height is 8 so 10 width is from 20 to 30 8 is right over here so let's draw a bar of this height and width okay the third one width is again 10 height is 12.4 so from 30 to 40 is 10 12.4 this is 12 okay now 0.4 let me zoom this little bit so that you can clearly see from 12 to 14 that's two units but if you look at the intervals let's count 1 2 3 4 and 5 so 2 divided by 5 is 0 0.4 which means every interval over here is 0 0.4 so if this is 12 this has to be 12.4 and let's draw that okay let me zoom out a little bit more yes and then let me draw this just normally I'm drawing freehand. You should use a ruler and pencil in the exam. Okay. The width is 40 and the height is 1.9. So this means it is going to be the widest from 40 to 80 is 40 and the shortest is just 1.9. Now 1.9 is just below 2. Okay. So as I said, this is 0 0.4, 0 0.8, 1.2, 1.6. And then between 1.6 and 2, this is 1.8. And between that, for example, I'm drawing a line that is close to 2. Okay. I'll just draw down this over here. There we go, we have completed the histogram. Let's move on 
to question number 17. The diagram shows a cyclic quadrilateral ABCD. BD and AC intersect at X, right over here. And then look at A. Angle BAD is 74 degrees. Angle BAD over here is 74 degrees. Angle BCA is 34 degrees. Angle BCA is 34 degrees. Now let me just erase all of this. Find angle BDA. So where is angle BDA? Let's start from B, go all the way to D, and all the way to A, which means we need to find this angle. Okay, if you look at angle BDA, the one which I drew just now, and angle BCA. Let me draw that angle BCA. These two angles are subtended by the same arc at the circumference. Look at this arc AB. So these two angles are subtended by the same arc at the circumference. So the angles in the same segment, angles in the same segment are equal. So this has to be 34 degrees. These are circle theorems. You need to learn those theorems and then apply them when you work out. Okay. Angle BCD. Let us go and find out where is angle BCD. Let me erase all these things. Angle BCD is this one. This, this entire angle including the 34 degrees okay so we know that opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees so this angle plus this angle should give you 180 degrees okay so let's say let me do the working over here for your convenience and angle c plus 74 degrees should give you 180 degrees okay so angle bcd should be 180 minus 74 that should give you 106 degrees so angle bcd is 106 degrees let us look at number three angle abd go back to question angle abd clear this out and then angle a B, D is this angle they are talking about. Okay, now if you look at the angle triangle that I drew, it's a triangle. Our first answer was 34 degrees. This is already 74. We can use the angle sum property to find angle A, B, D. So angle, angle A, B, D is going to be 180 minus 34 minus 74 which is 180 minus 108 108 and that's going to be 72 degrees the reason i'm writing down working on top over here is because when i scroll down you will not be able to see the diagram whereas in the examination you should show whatever working just below or next to the working space okay so we found out the answer as 72 degrees angle a b d is 72 degrees it has part b in the diagram triangle a d x is similar to triangle b c x b c equal to 4.5 a d is 9 and c x is 3.3 so let's figure out where is a d x and b c x so a d x is this triangle over here and bcx is this triangle over here the question says they are similar bc is 4.5 ad is 9 so bc is 4.5 ad is 9 centimeters and then cx is 3.3 cx over here is 3.3 and then they asked us to find what is 
dx or xd so this is what we are looking for xd let me mark it with x x over 3.3 the corresponding sides and all you should know x and 3 are the corresponding sides 4.5 and 9 are the corresponding sides okay is equal to 9 over 4.5 we need to find x so divide oh, sorry multiply both sides by 3.3 so x equal to 9 over 4.5 times 3.3 now we don't have a calculator but we can easily simplify this x equal to the fraction over here 9 over 4.5 multiply by 10 so 90 over 45 times 3.3 90 over 45 is 90 divided by 45 is 2 times 3.3 .3, and that is 6.6 .6. so that is 6.6 .6 centimeters all this working space you need to show this working over there as i told you the reason why i am showing it over here okay i think that's all for today thank you very much